Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove any bearing, as like a hanger bearing, uh, carrier bearing for a drive shaft, like a two-piece drive shaft. This is on my Ram 3500 here. I have a big press over there, and it doesn't really work because of the way the bearings are. You can't get a good grip on them. The easiest thing to do, see this is where the, I'm sorry, so that's where the bearing goes. This, this is their bigger drive shaft. This is like 1.3 inches, but back here it's 1.57. They have a smaller size too for a second gen Dodge if you're working on one of them. So you gotta measure that size to see what size it is. So if you have any kind of vibration when accelerating, I thought I was like, oh no, maybe my clutch is going bad again. I just put one in, but if you have any kind of bad vibration when accelerating, and you can get under there and wiggle. This is the original one. I cut the rubber out, but the rubber bushing was bad. The bearings weren't too bad. So cut the cut your rubber out, and then this whole housing will slide off. And then once you do that, either take like an air cutoff tool or electric grinder and then like this is a part of the race for the bearing just cut cut it in half cut one cut a slit on each side uh, and then when you get down to it you don't want to cut into the drive shaft though be very careful that you don't nick that up when you get down to the inner race on here I used just use a, if you have a settling torch Heat that race, heat this race up here. It'll get hot. And you can literally just bump it right off. So what I did, I saved the old race and I welded it onto the pipe. Actually, I just ran out of gas. You so realize that I was like, why is it burning like crap? No gas. So I welded the old race onto this pipe and I'm gonna use it for installing the new bearing here. So I'll get that set up here and I'll show you. But like I said, that's the easiest way. Ah, uh, what did I get? So I'm working on a, a Dodge. So I use actually got a Spicer bearing. Uh, I I don't really recommend getting the ones like AutoZone in that because I know other people said they go out like a couple years and it's pain in the butt to get this on and off. Spend the extra money and just get the. I mean this one's been on there 20 years. So and this part if you have a Dodge, it's like a little shield there that comes off too. And then you got a new one in the kit here. So I'll show you how it all goes together here in a minute. Okay, while you have it apart, make sure you take a wire brush or some sandpaper over. So this is where your shield sits. And then your bearing goes right on here and stops on this little ledge here. I love working on diesels. Like no matter what you touch, you get dirty. All right, because the shield's on there. Now, if you're doing second gen Cummings. Uh, the other bearing, if you have the smaller one, the mounting tabs come out the side here. So this is the bigger bearing. So they mount up here and of course the old ones broke off. Yeah, everything breaks up. Even get the bolts out of the, the rear of the drive shaft there, they broke too, so that's cool. Always a lot of work. So that's the front. It goes in the transmission. So this little hood part, will go towards the rear end. So this this thing here kind of goes around this dust shield. Let's see, here we go, something like this. So it goes just like that. And I'm gonna work on bumping this thing on here. Like I said, I took the, the race from the old one here. That way you can kind of go on something like that. Pardon me if you can't really see it there. Just a little bit more to go. He said, just be careful if it don't go, don't force it. Yeah, that's one thing I was gonna tell you, is uh, maybe take like a Dremel 
and kind of uh, the inside of the race make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, she's seated in there good. So, yeah, let me get this pipe off here, hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, so <laughs> just had a well on it pretty hard with the hammer to get it off. So if you do use this method, just take uh, an air tool, Dremel, make that a little bit bigger that way it doesn't get stuck. But yeah, there it is, new one's on. And then with these, you have this little spacer, just kind of seals up the dust shield. These are pressed on there too. You can see there's another big lip on there. So just use a similar method. Actually, I think I have the old one here too. You could do the same thing, but these should go on fairly easy. And then just reinstall it. So yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, cut the old one off. Don't get frustrated. <laughs> Buy a good bearing too, like I said. Them ones at AutoZone, they're like 30 bucks. They just seem, they look pretty cheap. This is actual Spicer. This thing, it was, I think, 70 bucks. So literally twice as much, but... I don't ever have to change this again. You know, I use my truck a good bit. So, yeah, any questions, feel free to ask.